Technically, first full day in Salem. We got here yesterday at noon, right? Noon? Yeah. Okay. And we ate lunch. We did a little shopping. What else? What else? What else? Oh, we checked into our Airbnb, which I'll show you guys in a second. It's actually the cutest Airbnb I may have ever stayed in, and it's right on the ocean. I'll show you in a second. Um, and we went to dinner last night. We went to a place called Turner Seafood. That was really good. We came back and we just crashed. Um, so yeah, it's like nine, almost 9.30 I would say. And it's super windy today and I wish I would've brought my coat, but we're here anyways. Um, so yeah, I'll show you my outfit really quick. Mom, do you wanna show your outfit? Okay. I'll come to you, you know? Yeah. Um, and then I'll show you, a, I'll do a really quick tour before we get started. We have lots of fun things planned today. First, let me show you this view. It's seriously like unreal. So this is the bedroom and right from the bedroom window, that's just the ocean. I don't know if you can see it super well. I'll show you the view from outside here in a minute, but how pretty. It's so beautiful. Okay, let me show you a little tour and then we'll do outfits. Can you see my outfit in this here? I'll have my mom show you. Okay, so. I have, I've had this Casper t-shirt since like 2017 when I saw Kourtney Kardashian wear it in an episode and I found it online and bought it and I always like almost get rid of it but I'm like no I'll keep it and I thought it was perfect for Salem, a little ghost. Then I have this jacket that Brad thrifted actually, it's like an old man jacket and then I have the cutest pants on, They're, I borrowed these from Nora, shout out. She said to guard them with her life so that's what I'll be doing. Let me put them... Let me put this up so you can see. Let's see if you can see this. I don't know. Um, can you see? Here they are. How cute. And I'm just wearing Air Force Ones. And then I'm just going to carry a tote bag um, in case I buy stuff, which I'm going to buy stuff. Come here, Mommy. This is my mom's outfit. She just got her new jeans, and she's really proud of them. She's wearing a jean jacket and a sweater and tennis shoes. Oh, don't look at my shoes, though. Oh. Well, they're fine from here. Cute! Thanks. Okay, let me show you really quick the Airbnb. I'm just going to start front to back. So here's the bedroom. Super comfortable bed. How cute! And then there's like a TV and stuff. Little chair. And then I love this little window. I don't know why. I'm obsessed with it. And then you come right here. There's like a little hall area. Some good storage. And then across is the bathroom, which don't mind. It's a little messy. But I'll still show you because we're friends. There it is. Nice shower. I'll leave the link once we're already gone in case you want to stay here. Actually, maybe I won't. I might gatekeep this, honestly. Because um, we love it and we're going to start booking it. But, okay, so here's from the front door. It's just a cute little cottage. Really nice. Got a TV, kitchen. Everything's super clean, cozy. And then I'll show you the backyard that it leads out to. Oh, wait, this is my new one. Oh, yeah. There's my mom's little witch hat. She got this last year. I like it. It's so cute. It's like a fairy witch hat. Okay, and look at this backyard. It's the cutest thing ever. So you walk out, and then there's this yard. There's their little garage. How cute. They have the lights up. And then this is their main house over here. It, like, goes up those stairs. And then there's their house. And then look at this neighborhood. It's so cute. There's the water. Yeah, I need to live here. My mom and I are already planning on how we can buy a house and live here. Or at least, like, just have one here. So, yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, Okay. Oh, you are? Okay. Okay, so we're going to go find coffee and food, and we'll catch up.
Um, I'm more just like anything I need to hear that comes through is good. Um, and then I guess we'll just go from there and see if anything comes up. Awesome. And I always start off each reading by asking that your guides and angels in mind um, bring us messages for your highest good and healing. Okay. Um, can you please pick a number between 1 and 10 and let me know? 7. I'm going to shuffle 7 times and then okay. we'll see what comes through. Are you working in a really competitive environment right now? Yes. Okay. Because um, this is a card of like conflict. It's a card of like constantly having to be on and yep. like in some ways kind of having to constantly defend your decisions or like what you're doing. That's so weird. Yep. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely. It's like very fast paced. Yeah. So this is your conscious energy. This is a card that represents someone that might not be super honest. Mm -hmm. um, it could, it, it often represents like liar, cheater, stealer energy. Um, I don't know if that resonates for you, um, but it does make you feel like there could be someone um, spreading misinformation. Um, but at the end of the day, there is this nine of cups, and that is you, you know, taking peace in the fact that you know that you're not in the wrong yeah and that you know that the right people the people that are your people will be able to know that that's not yeah um and so i do think that you are able to maintain your fulfillment by mm -hmm. um and this energy here this is big success um things coming full circle so if there is misinformation going around right now this is the truth coming out gotcha. the full truth um and you know you end up on the other side of it um victorious yeah um your thoughts and attitude right now um are you moving or are you thinking about moving? i just bought like a dream home felt it yesterday and we've been trying to um get approved for like a mortgage loan okay so yeah wait i absolutely love that big transformations when it comes to your home um i absolutely love that yeah. so definitely know that um you know, the things that you've been working towards, if you've been, you know, saving up a down payment, yeah, you know, working on, you know, building up credit to get a mortgage, yeah, this feels like ultimate success there. Awesome. I absolutely love that. Yay! Do you read cards at all? I have Oracle that I do, okay. yeah. Okay. I love tarot. I just, it's so much to remember, so I feel like it's something you have to, like, study and things like that, but I'm super into it. That's awesome. Yeah. You definitely have a super strong intuition. Thank you. So definitely know that if you decide that you want to jump yeah. into tarot, like, I think you'd be natural. Well, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Is he a little bit older than you? Yeah. Okay. A little bit. You have the Age of Wands, he has King of Wands, and sometimes that can happen when there's a little bit of like age yeah. gap. Um, but you know, this is a real match. Awesome. Um, I feel like you guys have a lot of fun. There's a lot yeah. of laughter. There's a lot of um, adventure. Mm -hmm. And I think you're really going to be in this positive cycle for a while. Good. It's like a truly a new beginning. There is like a part of you that's very much like a natural like healer and nurturer. Yeah. Um, and your energy is very healing mm -hmm. to people. And I think that um, even when you're, you know, putting out content to like energetically, if you don't already, you might already do this. Literally Charlotte Shalomar said this to me last time I got a reading. I'm not even kidding. To put the energetic intention. She said everything I create or say is like healing. That's so weird that you both said that. Wow, that gave me chills. I know. I love when stuff like that happens me too. too because it, especially if I like I don't know. You what didn't she know said, that, yeah. Exactly. It was like a year ago. Right. Yeah. And then to have that confidence. Yes. Ooh, I have crazy I know. chills. Um but yes, exactly. Your content's healing and you can even push it out with your energetic content. That's good. Yeah, that's a good idea too. This is a card of kind of what I was describing, like you getting a good energetic reward from the universe yeah. for the choices that you made. Awesome. Um so definitely know you were on the right path 100%. Thank you. Um, absolutely. And you know, again, this this goodness in your in your world right now, you worked for it. Mm -hmm. You created it. Yeah. You know, some people um, get a lot of good things by luck or by chance, but like you really earned it. Yeah. Um, and so it is important to um, really affirm that to yourself and to know that you deserve all this goodness. Thank you. Absolutely. You know, this can sometimes be a bit of a warning to just, okay. you know, be really discerning about who you're letting into yeah. your life. Mm -hmm. um, but with all of your high priestess intuitive energy, I feel like you are really good at that. Yeah. Um, because you're going from like a position of like a knight to a position of like a king, right? Wow. In terms of success. Um, you know, sometimes kings need... Oh my god. A king's you, hand. Exactly. Thrones? I was gonna say, are you? Oh, yes. I knew it. <laughs> That's amazing. Exactly. You need like your wise counsel. Yep. You need the king's guard. Like 
Oh, that gave me chills. I know. Because are we both you. watching the House of Dragon? Okay. Yep. Um, and I just told my husband, you better not watch it without me while I'm gone. I didn't see the one last night. I didn't either. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, I love that for love us. Love that. Um, and they just talked about like the Hand of the King or whatever. Right. And how that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I don't mean to ever instill any like paranoia, but no. like, just be very discerning yeah. in terms of like who you do allow into your court okay. and into your wise counsel. Yep. Um, also, Dana. It's like, I don't, I don't think that Matt Smith is attractive, but his, like, the yep. character of Damon. Yep. I know. Um, Empress Energy again. Oh my gosh. Confirmation for yep. Are you thinking about having kids? So we're just going to ask you about that next. Okay. Yeah. All right. I love that. Let's delve into that. Intuitively, just picking up on, I think you're going to have a girl. There's definitely, at first I was thinking with twin girls, um, but I think that there will be two. Mm -hmm. um, That's also what Shalomar said last year, that I would have two. Okay, so it is much later now it's like seven and we're about to go back into salem we kind of came back and rested we had psychic readings today which i might insert a little bit of mine or i guess i would have already if i did so if i did there you go if i didn't then i didn't um <laughs> what my mom's looking at me like i'm bad at this or something um but anyways we're about to go on a ghost tour um so yeah we had dinner early came back she took a nap i went over my reading um and we got a lot of stuff so maybe i'll give you guys a little haul tomorrow yeah let's do that yeah let's um so yeah let's go get scared i'm wearing two pairs of pants it's freezing and oh my god i got this vintage jacket that i tried on you guys already saw it but i'm gonna put that on where is it will you get it yeah anyways this is what i'm wearing to the ghost tour Thanks. Isn't it heavy? It's so heavy. It's a vintage motorcycle jacket. Wait. What? Is there a pocket in the back? I don't know. It's like a vent. Oh. And it's unzipped. Zip it up. Have you been like this all day? I don't know. Okay. Oh, I see. Here it is. It's so cute and so warm. <clears throat> I love it. Looks good. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Thank you. Not on this one. Why would I do that? On accident. Don't let it get. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Have a good Thank night. You. Have a good night. You. you too. We got our cider. Hold on. Wait. Turn towards the light. Cheers. Cheers. It's gonna be too hot. Yes. Pretend. Burn me. You're a freak for that. All right. That's really hot though. <laughs> I know. It's like a glove to just warm you up. Mm. We've only had it one time. Huh? We've only had it one time. You made it sound like it's your <laughs> new thing. No, I said Indian food is my new thing. No. Mm. Mom. Pull up the headstones and put them in the front, but leave the body. <laughs> so those are the head. We were not that short in the 1600s. <laughs> so if you see one, um, I think there's one right there. I'm pretty sure that's one right there. 
But you see, when you guys go to the cemeteries tomorrow and look around, look for ones that have skull and crossbones on them. And the reason why they have that, there's a warning label that if you rub the graves, you might get consumption, you might get smallpox. You might get some in, a contagious disease. So they gave you a warning label. It's kind of against your HIPAA rights, but hey, they're dead, <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yes, that's, you know, they had a warning label. So yeah, look for those. That's what that means if anybody. Good morning. I'm dead today. I need coffee. Um, it is, what day is it? Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's our second full day. Our last full day. I guess it's just our last day. Because we don't have any day tomorrow here. Um, we're about to recreate a picture from when I was little. Like four? Yeah. And we were, around, we were in Boston, but it's like a a harbor and we're wearing these hats and we're gonna recreate it and be cute and fun so we're gonna do that right now and then we're gonna go find me coffee and a heating pad for my back and ibuprofen because my period is from hell I tried a new lip color today she's cute it's this NYX liner um and vintage and this little gloss from Urban Outfitters and it's called Sherry Sherry's or something. So let's go take our photo and move on. Okay. We have a list. Yeah, we do have a list. We have a lot to do today. I don't know what we've been doing. Stand there. Okay, stand there. We had breakfast and I was able to get a little work done and I just got proud a really cute sweatshirt. I'll show you that I got it. So I got him this. He didn't want like a super salmon sweatshirt, so I got him this one. It's really cute. It's kind of like the one I have from last year, but this is Boston. And we like things like super oversized, so yeah. Really so I'm just waiting on my mom. Um, she's checking out. And yeah, then we're gonna go um, get our aura photographs, which I'm so excited about. So yeah. Okay, we just did the aura photograph. We're taking a break in the car because I'm a zombie today. I'm so tired and I needed to regroup. But this is the coolest thing ever I need to show you it was really quick too your my mom got like a different one than me I got a Polaroid because I wanted to have it um, like in a frame or something <laughs> look how beautiful it's so bright they said that here I have the little key so so the red, orange is grounded, stable, passionate, creative, expressive, productive. He said, I'm very in my creative energy right now and I'm very inspired, but I'm really grounded. So that's good. And then the top, the purpley, pink, and then indigo um, is artistic, inspired, imaginative, intuitive, thoughtful, and communicative. communicative. So he said, I have very strong intuition and to trust my gut and that my aura is very beautiful and very vibrant. So that was like one of the coolest things I've ever done. And then my mom got like a, they, they did like a chakra reading on you. Mm -hmm. Did they tell you you had good? In aura. In aura. So she got like a report and this was hers. So she has green, blue, and purple. Let's see what, to, oh. Top violet is visionary, spiritual wise, left and right green is healing and social, and blue is tranquil and sensitive. <laughs> so
so now we're trying to decide if we want to eat what we want to eat. And I'm about to pee my pants because I drank this big water this morning. Um, what do we want to eat? Do you want soup or smoothie? Okay, she's annoyed. Me. I don't want a smoothie ever in my life. <laughs> Let's go. Me? Sorry, I just needed a break. Just I would take a nap if I had time. All right, let's go eat some soup. Wow. This is my first time trying a lobster. Unimpressed person in the world. I'm what? The most unimpressed person ever. I'm not wrong. 